Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really excited actually for this episode today. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and load up my game. The plan today is to clean up floor one of the factory. If I can remember what was going on. Interesting time of day. I don't remember it being dark uh, when the when I closed the last game, but uh, here we are. So my plan for today is to uh, work on milestones a little bit, but I, I really want to tidy up my storage here. So first thing I want to do is get rid of some of the stuff that I'm not using. Uh, so get rid of this and this and this. And I want to migrate all of this storage over to here. I'm going to just have it like dangling off the edge of this cliff here because otherwise I'm not really using this space and it's not too immersion breaking if this platform originates um, and, and is consistent through flat ground. Like it's not it's not going to look structurally um, unreasonable if I do some extra foundations here. So what I'm going to do is I could up some more plates and some concrete I think. So let me just grab a couple stacks of these. I don't think I'll need that much, but who knows? Uh, and I'll drop some stuff off here that I don't need. Okay. And we get a stack, uh, two stacks of those. All right. Let's. Oop! I need to turn on zoop. Let's do that. Those. Okay, so I think that's as big as I'm going to make this area. Um, but I, I realized, I was driving around today, and I was thinking about my factory, as one does, and I realized that all this stuff I'm producing here uh, is it's being produced at less than 270, well, less than or equal to 270 um, items per minute. So I can take, I can actually take all of the stuff I'm producing on this floor and send it through a single belt uh, to save space. And then once it's all on a single belt, I can use smart splitters to sort of wick specific items out of the chain and do smart storage. Uh, and that will allow me to sync everything in, in excess uh, with a single belt. So, the first thing I need to do is create uh, six new, or s let's see, nine? I need to create, yeah, I've got three more things up there. I need to create nine storage containers. Uh, and I kind of, I just want to do them all in a line, I think. Because I have a lot of stuff, but I want to be able to access it easily. So, let's see, these are going to have to, those are going to move, because I just want all my storage to be just right here. So, let's toss this here, and I guess I can just, I can just build outward uh, as far as I need to, if this isn't enough space. More rods, please. All right, how many is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, and it lines up pretty well uh, with the edge of this foundation, so. Yeah, that's good enough. Sort of right in the corner there. Uh, I won't be able to build a wall around it or anything, but uh, this is gonna do just fine. So, and if I want to do a wall around it, I want to have walking space anyway, so that's going to be perfect for our purposes. And so the next thing I need to do is build space for um, splitters. So I'll do that, and I'll actually get rid of that whole section and continue this one on. Whoops. 
That's... They're facing the wrong way. I think. Yeah, that's what I want. There we go. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to have my storage do something... Or not storage. I'm going to have my logistics do something a little sneaky here. And I'm going to have it... Um, I'm gonna have it go through the world, but it's not gonna look too out of place. So I wanna, I wanna have it come out, I think right here. I think this is the block where it is going to, no, not that one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, so this is the block where I'll have it sort of emerge. So all I'm going to do here is take a conveyor pole, stick it right against the edge of this rock. Um, and then I'm going to come over here, and this is this is do some real sneaky, so I'm going to take a foundation, plop down a one meter thick foundation, and then I'm going to put a little um, conveyor hole just right here. And then I'll... I'll I'll delete this foundation, and this one, and I'm gonna just sneak a little Mark III uh, conveyor lift on the bottom side, and it's gonna, it's gonna visually clip through the world, but I'm gonna hide that all underneath right here. So all of my stuff is gonna move on this belt that's just invisible because I'm hiding it, so I'll put this back, and I'll put this back. Uh, back right here. And I'll put a little cover on here. So it's going to... I'll, I'll cover all this eventually, so you, it, it just won't look terribly weird. But all my stuff's going to go through the world, come out right there, and then route this way into a bunch of splitters. So I guess I could even put that right there, and then do a, let's see, I had some, I think I had some tokens, or coupons, or whatever they're called, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out my, uh, my walls options here, let's see, architecture, no, walls, that's, that's on top, conveyor walls, I want this, I want that, I'm buying it, I get rid of that, and I'll put these coupons back in here. So now, I can stick a conveyor wall here. And then it's kind of out of sight, out of mind sort of deal. There we go. So now it just kind of looks like it's being fed under the uh, under the factory. So now what I have to do over here is everything's going to come out, actually. Let me put these back here. So I'll cover this all up. Alright, so everything's going to come in here, straight into this, and anything I feed into this will just pop out over here underneath the floor. So then I'll go ahead and lay out my smart splitters. I need to make some AI um, limiters, which means I need to go up to my quick wire, which I believe I can reach without having to... Yep, cool. And I'll just take a stack of that. Alright, what else do I need? I don't remember if I need anything else. So, let's see. Alright, yeah. 25, definitely more than enough. I think I only need 9. Okay, I'll just stop at having 15 in my bags. That seems like a good number. Nice nice solid number. So then um, 
Let's see, some smart splitters. Alright. What I need to do here now is make all my floor holes. Oh, that line up with the edge of my containers. And then I can do something like that on the top side. So I'll just do them all the way through. Temporarily, I'll go ahead and take these out of here. And I'm gonna have to make, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make the um, splitter. Face this direction, which means that is gonna move a little bit. I'll, I'll anchor that, I'll re-anchor that in a second. So, smart splitter, I'm gonna enter here, line up with that, and then I just do the same thing all the way down. Something like that, and I should probably build that out right there, just for some extra space to walk around. All right, smart splitters are down. Now I can connect lifts that feed in. And then I have to decide on the order that I want all of this stuff. So I think the move here is to do sort of the same order that I have right here laid out. So I'm gonna do plates, rods, screws. And I can just, so I've got the, the right output of the smart splitter feeding into this. So what I wanna do is set the right side to, uh, to iron plates. And then the middle one I want to set to overflow. And what that's going to do is um, it's going to try to filter out the iron plates if it can. And if it's otherwise full, it's just going to send everything to the next smart splitter right here. And then this one, because this one should never receive plates. They should always get filtered out to that first storage. This one is going to also get an overflow in the middle. And this one's going to filter out the iron rod. Uh, and then... It'll send everything into this one, which will get an overflow, and that will get the screws. And then it feed the remainder, and this one I want to do... Oh, what was it? What do I have first? Is it wire? No, wire's last. First one is copper sheets, and then cable. So sheets, cable, wire. Excuse me. So, copper sheet and cable. Can't forget the overflow in the middle. Um, if you leave this set to any, then it will just, it'll filter out what it can, but it'll alternate what it's trying to filter, I believe, uh, with sending it through the, the right side and back through the center. And I don't want, I want like everything that, that can get filtered out to get filtered out. Um, and what the overflow function will do is also if um, if this box is full of plates and it and the uh, lift is full, it'll send the plates through the whole line, uh, which is what I want because I want everything that goes through all the way to hit a sink at the end, so that uh, all of my machines are in full production all the time and all the excess gets synced. So this is doing sheets. This is doing cable. This is going to do wire uh, with overflow, feeding into this. 
Uh, and so this is going to be reinforced iron plate. This will be rotor. And this will be oh, with an overflow. Whoops. And does that have overflow? Yes, it does. Rotor. And then this with an overflow will be my modular frame. Okay, and then everything coming out of the end of that will go into the awesome sink, which um, I can build an extra... Do a one meter thick platform here, and I'll do an awesome sink right at the end. Uh, and I can... Oh, I need more reinforced iron plates for that, so I'll go up here and grab some... Uh, this is the wrong floor for that. Here they are. Uh, and these will also have to reroute, so I can repurpose that splitter there. And I'll reroute that. Um, let's see, how am I going to do this? So I need to get... I need to get them over there. That's the goal. And I can probably, I can probably hit drop and have them merge. Let's see. I can have them merge in probably right around here, actually. Um, if I do a, if I do a straight line of everything from here coming in, and then I have, I can get rid of this right now. That's just in the way. All this is going to get ripped up out of here. I can do a merger in this line, aiming here, and then I can have my modular frames, uh, reinforced plates, and rotors all enter uh, through this line right here. Actually, I can clear these out of here for now. So I'll have a Mark III belt feeding into this. Did I grab plates? No, I didn't. I went upstairs and I didn't even get plates. The whole point of this was to get the sink up and running right now. So, can I build the awesome sink? Yes, I can. Alright, so one awesome sink at the end here. last thing I need to build here is going to be a, um, where is it, one lift hole right there, clear this out for a second, uh, right into the sink, and this will go here, so now I can connect this power to that power, sure, why not? Okay, and I believe I've done all the settings correctly, but I want to leave that open so we can watch it work. Um, so now I'm going to I'm going to take uh, some of this stuff. I'm just going to start clearing these belts out of here. They really are such an eyesore. And I'll put this jelly thing back in a minute. Uh, maybe. I'll probably forget, and then I'll jump off the tower eventually and take a bunch of fall damage and be like, oh, whoops, I forgot to put the thing back. Alright. So, get rid of these. I also get to clean up uh, some some stuff that I had built with uh, Mark 1 Logistics. I can just sort of tidy that stuff up uh, when I come through here this time, uh, because I won't be running as many belts, so I'll be able to put more stuff where I want to. Let's get rid of those and these and that and this. And actually, I'll just I'll just take all the belts out right now. 
And then I'll do all of the supports separately because that is way easier. Okay, I think that's everything for the iron. And so once I once I uh, merge all this stuff together, I'll have to go through and empty out my machines um, so that the merge priority isn't isn't super out of uh, sync with itself because it's all going to be it's um it's like a reverse it's like an intake manifold, right? So I want um, I want priority to be even without having to. Um, load balance the input. Okay, so this is one of the things I get to fix right now, is I get to take the um, the iron ingots, this is to be Mark II, so I get to take the iron ingots coming out of this uh, smelter grid, and I get to move it across. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I'll do something like this and send them straight over there. And I'll come over here and uh Oh I can't even ditch these ingots. Can I ditch them over here? No I can't. I can't even drop them here. Oh man. Okay. Where can I ditch these ingots? here kind of oh well I'll sink them get rid of these okay cleaned that up a lot uh, okay this cable I want it to look neater so I'm gonna come over here and instead of this outputting to the left coming out of the um, output here, I'm going to have it go forward. How many is this uh, outputting? 30 per minute, so I can go with a Mark 1. And then just go straight out. And then I think I can come all the way over here. Do a stackable conveyor pole. Pretty sure if I build it right here, that I'll be able to build a belt down to this line at a right angle. Yeah, and that's where I want it. So I can take this line, move it to here. So now my cable is outputting over the top of my. Uh, copper ingots and then it will neatly just merge with everything here so I can delete these and this is kind of like the the eyesore of the lower tier at the moment so glad I can get rid of that and now I'm just going to uh, single I'm gonna I'm gonna manifold uh, merge these things I don't know if that's the name for it but so that's going to pick up both the wire and the, um, or sorry, the cable and the plates. And then those plates are also going to, or the plates and cable are gonna merge with the wire right there. So I'm gonna just do Mark III for all this merge stuff because I don't really, I don't wanna count um, unless I have to do the math, so. So now all these machines are going to, like the priority in here, it's gonna take one from this side and one from this side. So I'm producing, 
oh, what is it, 30 copper sheets per minute and 30 cable per minute, so that's actually good. This is going to be taking um, 60 items per minute out anyway, because I'm doing, or sorry, 90, because I'm doing 60 cable and then 60 of this is 120. So 120 copper items per minute are coming out of here. Um, and I guess that's okay, except that if I, if I let it run as is, then I'm gonna get uh, two wire, one copper sheet, and one cable uh, at a time, which is, I guess that's the same speed that I'm producing them. So I could, I could run with that. Um, let me just, yeah, I'll just run that over to here. So this is where it gets wonky because the 40 screws per minute and the ratios are all weird. So let me add a merger in here, uh, in line with that and this. So one merger for that stuff, one merger for this stuff, and then the one last merger for the screws. And then these last connections can all be Mark three belts, and that's fine. Um, so this is where it's weird, right? Because I could merge all the iron stuff into its own section and then merge it with the copper stuff, but I just want a single uh, chain running through here. So these are all connected and then I'm gonna run it straight forward here. I want it to be a perfect angle, so do that. And then this can run all the way into that merger. So now what should happen is um, it will it'll start making its way through this belt. Yeah, see it's it's like gonna be half screws because of the way that the merger is set up. So it's gonna move through there and then it's gonna come through this line. Uh, oh, after I reconnect it. So that's gonna come over to here. Oops, I need to build a pole right here so I can run this through here. All right, so that's gonna come through here and then the screws pass through, the rods pass through, the plates don't. I move through here, I should stop seeing rods. And then if I move to here, I should stop seeing screws. Just the copper goods should pass through. And then after this one, I should stop seeing the copper plates pass through. They're doing their job. And I can just double check by looking at the contents of these containers. So, so this one is receiving plates, this one's receiving rods, screws, sheets, cable, wire. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And nothing should even be passing uh, past the wire because currently nothing else is going through. So this is, uh, it's correctly smart splitting all of my stuff. Now I just need to uh, move my goods. So I want to, um, let's see, I'll just do store all, sort my inventory. And then I can dismantle the screw container. I can fill this. And then if I come over here and look, we'll see uh, screws should now be passing through here because they can't fit in that container anymore and they should come all the way over here uh, into the sink, which we actually won't be able to see. Um, let's see, is this, is this stealing? Okay, so there go the screws and they're going into the awesome sink and then the awesome sink is turning on. And I'll just double check the rules on this. Overflow modular frame, overflow rotor, overflow reinforced plate. Okay, so yeah, so now I am sinking my excess screws here, uh, which was the goal. So now I wanna do that with the rods as well. So I'll steal these rods, come over here, fill this container. That's gonna actually not get sunk because it's gonna fill this container first, which is what we want. So then we'll fill this one with plates, and then the plates should start sinking. And cable. So cable container, fill that, store all, resort, take my wire. 
fill that, store all, resort, and take my plates, and those are here, so I can fill that, resort those, okay, and then this one, this is where it's going to get uh, interesting, so I have to figure out how to move all of my, um, my tier 2 and I guess you can consider modular frames to be a tier 3 material because they require a tier 2 material um, as a as a cost to build, but I don't know. So this is going to be... Oh, which one was this? This is the so plates and the rotors. So I just want to put one of each into these containers so I can tell what it is um, by hovering over it. So I'll take a plates and rotors, and I will shift right click, well I guess you can just right click and hold, let me just do that, yeah right click and hold, take one of these, oh that's not right, this is right, put one iron plate in there, and one rotor in here, and I can see rotors and plates, so that means the empty one is frames. And now I can add my rotors. Let's see. So instead of yeah, instead of sinking these uh, all the way up here, I can have these drop down a layer. Let's see. I could have them. I could even have them just merge in right here along this line. So let's see. I wanna. I would like to remove this so that I can see what I'm doing. I'll put it back in a second. But it looks like I need to add my lift hole right here. I think that will connect. Yep, perfect. And then I can oh, grab some more concrete. Uh, oh, I have some right here. I can actually just take all of this. Take my stuff back. There we go. Oops. Alright, put this back. Recolor it. There we go. And so... Let's see. So this is going to carry my modular frames. should just add this here and put another floor uh, hole. Just like that. Oh, I can't do that. Or can I? Yeah, I can't really do that. I have to change the trajectory of this jump pad. Where's the light? There it is. What? Hello? Okay, it works. Um, okay, get rid of this, get rid of this. Noisy machine. Drag a belt over to here. Make it spin a little bit. Access is going down there. Let's see if it merges. Yep, the modular frames, there they go. They're merging there. And then should be able to just in a minute see that change. So I'll check on that in just a second. After I figure out how to route these out of here. So let's see. I've got a bunch of plates. How many can I take with me? Not many. check the uh, thing here, so 
Yep, there they are. Cool. I like it. Uh, is this the... No, it's the input. Okay. Alright, I'm going to make a couple really inefficient trips down here just to get these plates out. trip for these because I should be able to just dismantle that container if I can point at it. There we go. Another rest are in my bag. Come over here, plop those there. Okay, so this is not a smart splitter. Uh, although I guess it doesn't need to be. So I want a merger. I want my rotors to come in here as well. So let's see. I'll have do a merger here. Which way do I want this to go? I think I want it to move to the right. And I want it to enter in the back. So that should be right around, well, let me just mock it up, so if, if this one's doing that, then this is going to be here. So I need to come over here and enter right here, which is totally fine. Um, so we'll do that. Have it wrap here, around this. Uh, even better, actually. I think I can have it just line up with where the merger is going to be. So I'll put the merger here, base it this way, have this come out here. And, oh, whoops, that's that. Oh, no, that was right. That was wrong. So, I want this to be mark three. I want it to be intake. There we go. And then, connect that there. Okay. And this merger is going to start taking iron plates out of here. Perfect. And uh, I just have to move my my rotors, but this should be able to just plug right into there. So now I should start seeing plates and rotors coming out through here. Rotors, hello, where are you? There are some rotors. All right, now I just have to move all my rotors, which. Um, is much easier if I just store all this here. And I go ahead and disassemble this container. I can store all my rotors. Take this uh, stuff back and then go rebuild this belt here. Okay, and now it's all splitting correctly. It's taking up barely any space. Got a lot more space down here in the layer one factory. I have to go um, empty all the machines and also sink the excess materials manually. So I'm gonna grab some reinforced iron plates. I'll do an awesome sink here. A 
industrial storage container right here. And I will power this right there. And I'll just start throwing stuff in here that I definitely don't need. Like all these extra iron plates. I don't need those. Um, let's see. These iron ingots. Don't need those. iron ore, this caterium ore, all this stuff, this limestone, hmm. bunch of coupons already, okay, get rid of these base materials. stack of rotors, but I'll get rid of those. Keep a stack of rods. Get rid of some cable, don't need that. <clears throat> and I think that's that's it. I think that's good. So get rid of all that, and then this should be sinking pretty much everything. Now I just do a clean up my machines and then start putting them into here. So what I'll do for that is I'll make a regular storage container. And I want to save all this. So I'll store that in here. And now I'll just go do some cleanup. Alright, so I'm going to take all the screws out of here. Empty empty. I'll take these plates. Yeah, and these ones are pretty backed up because um, they're prioritizing removing from, well, I guess not prioritizing. It's taking, it's alternating this side and this side, which means it's taking out of this machine twice as fast as it's taking out of either of these machines, which is why they're both still full. Um, Okay, and the wire, yep, I can take the wire out. I can take these sheets. I can take this cable. And I can take all this wire. Want to, I just want to create a gap so that it's feeding at production speed. And I believe that is the gap I was looking for. So now it should be basically, yeah, one wire, one cable, one wire, one sheet, one wire and cable. Okay, so that's, that's working perfectly. And then I just need to see the gap in these. Yes, good. the rod machines were totally empty, but, um, but that's all cleared up now, so smart storage complete, and it's uh, it's sinking everything at a good pace, oh, I guess I peaked at, uh, at a high amount, so that's good, alright, so let's go back to check milestones, because now it's time to actually progress. So, oil processing, that is going to give me uh, the ability to get plastic and rubber, which I need for everything else. So that is the next goal, is to find fuel. Uh, and I can scan for it, but I'm probably going to cheat and use the map. 
so that is the current mouse. I need 50 motors, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can buy those from the awesome shop. So let's go to awesome shop, build one right here. Let's see if I can purchase motors. I can five tickets, uh, and I had a bunch. I got ten of these. Yeah, so I have. I have 13 tickets. I can go ahead and just purchase my motors. And I can also purchase the encased beams. Uh, so for 8 uh, tickets, which took me no time at all, I can just get those two parts of the milestone requirement. So I'll just... easy. That's done. Um, and now I need 500 sheets, which I have. Totally. Um, and 500 pipes, which I believe I also have. If I head on upstairs uh, to where my pipe storage is, I should have, yeah, one of those and that. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock Oil processing. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Okay. So for oil, I'm going to go this that away. To minimize the Let's see, 400 yards. I think that's activities. actually right there. Oops. Let me check my map. Yeah, dead ahead, right there. So there's there's crude oil right there, and it's impure, and that one's impure. Let's see if there's any pure ones. Normal, impure, normal, impure. I don't actually, I think all the ones up in the coast here are like normal and impure, but um, that's totally fine. So this area right here, um, I can turn into a it's, it's really hard to move um, fluids over large distances in a neat way, so um, I'll probably on-site use the fuel and then export the, um, the solid goods. So I'll, I'll go build a little mini factory uh, in this area using both of these nodes, uh, but the, the size of the factory is going to reflect uh, maxing out the oil on each of those. So in base game, there's only one oil extractor, uh, which means that overclocking an oil extractor to 250% is the most I'm ever going to get out of those nodes. Um, and they're both impure nodes, so it's it's probably the most inefficient place to, to start my oil. Um, so actually, let me... Let me just do this again, because if I'm going to be moving solid goods, I don't know if I want to start on impure. So let's see. I've got... So, okay, so I could either do a factory with both of these, or just this one, and it would be the same production. So I think what I'll do is I'll build here. One single... Um, oil node. And so let me look at my extractor here. Under production, we've got the extractor. 120 um, meters cubed oil per minute. I need 15 motors and 20 encased beams. So I'll probably just buy more motors to go and, and place my oil extractors. It's going to cost me, what was it, five? Yeah, five tickets for 50. So five tickets... Uh, and then I can just go place three oil extractors, and I can actually just route all the oil to the same spot. So 120 per minute uh, times 2.5 gives us um, 300 uh, oil per minute out of each of the smaller ones. And then if I overclock the normal one to 125%, I get 300 out of that one as well. And I think right now, uh, let's see. I 
I don't have a Mark II pipeline yet, so I can only get 300 per minute out of each extractor anyway. So I need to get seven uh, power shards before I can reasonably start using all that oil down there. So I think that is the, the goal right now, is to go find uh, some slugs. So I'm going to... gonna open up my um, calculator, or sorry, the, yeah, the satisfactory calculator map, uh, and I'm gonna just upload my save into the browser, and I'm gonna look for the slugs I haven't collected. There's a filter for um, power slugs, so this will show me that I have the yellow power slug and some blue ones to collect nearby. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and grab some slugs. So one of them, let's see, one of them is right here, and I think that's the one that's behind a bunch of poison, um, but my spawn point is set at the hub, so I don't really care about uh, dying this close to everything. So let's see, so there's one up there, uh, probably, presumably, at the top, um, I can build to it, actually. And I can just straight up build a line of foundations straight over to it, and so I'll get a good vantage point first before I do that. Less building, less ramping. So let's see, oops, all right, so I'll just, nope, I don't want to overlap the blueprint designer, so get ten of these, ten more, Ten more. I think this might just. Um, I'm overshooting it a little bit, but this is fine. And then I want to build a ramp. That's not tall enough. Okay, I'll go back over here and I'll build one right along the side. So there's a ramp. And I have no idea what's up here. It might be dangerous. So I'm going to uh, going to prepare for the the possibility that there's some. Yikers stuff going on here. Oh, and now I'm looking at my map and I'm realizing this is not even. Oops. This is not even where the slug is. Because the slug is over here and I can see it from here. Uh, but the good news is I don't have to walk along that ledge to get, like, through all the poison to get the slug, because now I've built this walkway. I can just build on over to it. So, this is where I'm going. Let me just clear this out of here. Continue to build bridges in the sky. Can I reach it? Oh man, okay, so there is. I'm gonna take poison damage when I get close, so I'll just um, pre build my ramp right there. I'll just quickly pop down to this, grab the slug, and then get out of here. So give me the yellow power slug. Whew, yikes, that was close. All right. Well, I can get rid of all that. run over back to base here. I 
can't uh, I can't crouch while I'm holding control and shift. I don't know if that's uh, supposed to work like that. But there we go. I got a yellow uh, power slug. Oh, I don't want to kill the space elevator. There we go. I'll take all that back. Uh, and now there's some blue slugs that I can get, and they're mostly in this direction. Whoa, that was close. Alright, so... Let's see, first blue slug... is... Map's not very helpful here. Uh, I believe it's somewhere over here. No. Somewhere over here. Hmm. Yeah, it's on the other side of this pool. So I'll just go exploring. That's fine. Um... I actually have no idea what this looks like over here. Oh, there was a pool over here and I missed it. Oh, this is the pool? Wow, okay. That's not even, this can't even be a water source. There's no way you could even, let's see. Water extractor, yeah, this isn't deep enough for anything. Why is it even, it's just a puddle. Why is it on the map as some big, anyway. Uh, so the power slug I want is right up there. I can see the little um, particle effect. There it is. A little blue meteor. Uh, so the, the slug I want is at the top of this. I'm going to trigger these poison cloud flower things, but I'm going to try to get in here real fast and steal this thing before they go off. And get out of dodge. So, okay, so I got a blue power slug, and then uh, the next one is right over here in this direction. Just remembered I could use my scanner to, uh, to get to them a little faster. So there we go. Uh, and then there's one over here. I think it's off the edge of the cliff, and I definitely don't want to get knocked off uh, the cliff here. But it's it's like way down there. I don't I don't know as I'm getting that one right now. So I'll head back over this way, uh, and I know that the spot was safe. So I will take a look at my map while I'm here. Okay, so if I go up over this um, cliff here. There's a yellow and a blue slug right up there, so I can I can head on over there. And I can just climb this. Get through all this nonsense here. Cross this field. I think this is like right where you spawn when you choose this this uh, biome here. Is this a giant egg? No, it's a rock. It looks like an egg. That could totally be an egg. Holy crap, that's an egg. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. Okay. So, oh. Food. My first pale berry. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected edibles. in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. That's crazy. Alright. So there is a... There's a yellow slug down here. The topography on the map doesn't look like it would be such a big drop, but apparently it is. Oh, okay, so there's a slug in the rock there. Let me just see if the altitude... Okay, so the altitude for one of these slugs is way lower, which means it's, I'm getting the blue one here, and the yellow one is actually a, in a very different spot. Let me just 
take this biomass real quick. Okay, yeah. Nab this slug. Alright, so I have three, four, five. I need uh, two more slugs. Let me check the altitude for this one. Okay, so there's a yellow slug here. In this general area. Can I make this jump? I hope so. Was there ever any doubt? Hello, slug? Where are you at? Is it under me? Ooh, you sneaky slug. That's uh, seven, four, seven, yep. Okay. Well, I'll just get rid of all this. And, uh, let's see. That's a good, safe way to get down from here. And also, are there more slugs before I go? Back where I came from, that would be a good question. Okay, he's angry. That's I'll just leave him alone. How do I get out of here? Whew. Crouch jumping. Huge. Okay, and I just go back to the hub. Oh, there's a cave here. I just can't explore it because I haven't. I don't have to. Or I have. I have to blow it up. That's the. Yeah. I wonder if that cave has all the answers I seek. Ooh, that's radioactive. Yep. That sounds like spiders. Okay, we're good. Oh, more pale berries. Another pale berry. Okay, worth. I'll just snag a few more of these before I head up. Damn. Okay, I should have one shot him with the velocity that I had from that jump. I don't think that that's a thing in this game, though. Where's all the pale berries, man? I like this path. I think I will leave it. <laughs> I think I'll just leave it in like that. Oh, too far. Okay, let's see. Is this producing? Yeah, it is. going to get to down there. I suppose I have built a ramp, but it's not a convenient drop. So I suppose I could build a ramp from like right here and just go straight down.
Hmm, does it touch? Yes, technically it touches. It barely touches, but... I think it'll look better if I just do this. What is that? Some sort of node over there? What am I looking at? Let me check it out on the map. Okay, it doesn't look like it's actually any sort of node. It just looks like three crab hatchers and me. Bee crabs. Alright, let's go check out uh, this oil area here. I'll do some, some quick math before I build as well. All right, so I see hostility in the area. We have a uh, we have approximately one big boy. What? Jeez, this dude packs a wallop. My sword is strong though. Let's turn on the flashlight. All right, so there's an impure uh, crude oil node here. And there's another one over here. Beat the timer on that one. And that one. And this one, hopefully, as well. Yep. Cool. And was that the last of them? I sure hope so. I don't see any others. Okay, so basically, I think I have to clear out this whole area. Uh, and then... Oh. Noises. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, I think I have to clear out this entire area. And build one giant, big, annoying, blocking-looking thing. Or block thing. Uh, so... I think that's... I'm gonna do that um, in the next episode. I'm gonna take a good long look at... Uh, at what I could do with this area. I'm gonna think about it a lot. And I'm gonna come back in the next episode to actually do a build here. So I will close this off here. Uh, I guess the the great success for the day was preparing to build here um, and getting my uh, sink working effectively. So now I am producing. Let's go check out the, the value on that to see what I'm passively making with the sink. I think the rod machine um, or the rod storage hadn't filled up yet, but it should be close. I also am aware that I have an unused copper node over there. I could be doubling up production on a bunch of my copper stuff, um, and I should be uh, taking more copper from this and making staters. Um, but I think I'm, I'm gonna do a motor factory elsewhere, so I'm holding off on that for now. But let's take a look at uh, the sink. So I'm producing, yeah, 4,700 points per minute, uh, which is giving a, a decent stream of coupons now. So that is, yes, something must have filled. And it's not this but I am getting a good amount of modular frames now. So perhaps uh, it's because I had put extra stuff in here? Nope, this is empty now. Okay, so... So that's fine. What did I... I just plateaued here at 4700? I mean, I'll, I'll take it. get a look at how this is coming out of here. So we've got um, some plates, just one plate, 
two plates and then three plates, okay. And the pattern should should be pretty much the same. One plate, two plates, no, oh, three plates, one. Okay, what's going on with my plates? What is the deal here? Are any of these backed up at all? Nope. switch these out. I want them to pretty much move everything along as soon as it's created. Alright, I'll go take a peek at the pattern over here. Okay, so two wire next to each other. Show me the two wire next to each other. Okay, two wire next to each other. And then sheet plate, yep, okay. That's going way too fast to establish a pattern. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close off the episode there uh, and I will take a look into how I want my layout to be um, for my oil rig and I'll probably whip something up in the blueprint um, planner here and see what kind of grid I can build down there. Uh, because I would like to be able to build it very quickly uh, when I go down there. So I'm going to save the game and call this a Let's Play Day Eight. And um, yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a shorter episode. I'm trying to get back on track to to the one hour mark. Um, but there's just so much stuff to get done in in uh, an hour, you know, uh, that uh, you just can't get it all done. The, the stages of this game are going to start getting longer and longer. And I don't know if it's going to... Um, I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to accomplish like any significant goals within an hour uh, without severe um, prep. Some serious uh, like laying the groundwork for something. And then, you know, one, one episode might just be making all the, um, the belt connections for a factory to turn it into a whole thing, so... Anyway, I'll stop the episode there. I will upload this uh, save, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks.